What's up guys, this is Double Tech. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the top 10 Cydia tweaks for your iOS devices. This is gonna be the end of May 2013 edition. As I said, I'm gonna be releasing top 10 Cydia tweaks for the end and the beginning of each month, so I can keep you updated with any other tweaks that get released. However, I'm gonna be giving you guys a brief description of each tweak, so if you guys are interested, feel free to download it on Cydia, on your iPhones, iPods, iPads, etc. Anyways, all the tweaks that I mentioned in this video will be in the down bar below, so feel free to check that out as well as smashing that like button if you enjoy the video. So, let's get started. Now, starting with the first city of tweet I got for you guys, have you ever wished that you can tell when someone else is typing you an iMessage from wherever you are on iOS? Well, with this new city of tweet called Type Status, it just does that. It allows you to know when someone's typing you an iMessage and it appears with a speech bubble on your status bar so you know when they're typing or to go to the messaging application so you can type back and just makes it easier and quicker to message that person that you're of course communicating with. Now this next city of tweak is very awesome in a way that it allows you to disable your vibration and as well as put it on do not disturb. It does this by laying it down on the table and that will disable the vibration so you don't have to worry about your phone vibrating on the table and causing a lot of noise as well as flipping it over and also it being on do not disturb. Of course people not disturbing you so when you're asleep you can face it on the front of your iPhone or whatever device you have and it disables it just from that. In the settings you get a couple options as well as enabling and also messing around with the behavior, the sensitivity. So you get an overall more control of how it disables, as I said, your do not disturb and your vibration on your device. Now this next city of tweak is one of my favorites. It's called Animator and it allows you to add a customized effect or animation to either your notifications, your alerts, or even your multi switcher, which is a nice touch as well. Starting off with the notifications, it gives it a nice effect and you can move these around in the settings as well as the alerts that come in. You can customize those to bouncing in or have it as the default it all depends on you and last is the app switcher which zooms in and zooms out very nicely it gives it an overall great style and most people get bored of the animations on iOS so why not mix it up with animator disable do not disturb do not disturb is already disabled would you like me to enable it yes Okay, I enable do not disturb. Disable do not disturb. Okay, I've turned off do not disturb for you. So as you guys heard there, that was a tweak brought to you by Crescent allowing you to use Siri to enable and disable do not disturb. So this is another way and there's no options to configure and it's also free in the Big Boss repo. So why not check it out? Now this next city of tweak is for you notification users out there. This one is called tap to widget and it brings widgets like reminders, notes, calendars to your notification center and just integrates them like you see Facebook and Twitter. Now a great thing to know is this also works with Dashboard X allowing you to put it on your home screen if you wanted to but that's for another video. However, as I said before, this one can be great for your reminders or say if you want to set up a calendar event, you can do that right from your notifications. You can also organize these on however order or depending on which ones you like on your notification and don't, you can take them off. However, it's a great addition to your notification as far as widgets go. So check it out now moving on to another awesome tweak I have for you guys this one is for all you Facebook users out there allowing you to have your Facebook chat head set free now this instead of having it locked down in just Facebook and communicating it through there it allows you to set your chat heads outside of the application so have it around iOS when you're actually doing other things it makes it quicker easier and less painless to respond to Facebook messages as far as messaging your friend back however it's a great overall tweak and it's something that you may want to check out if you use Facebook a lot now this next city of tweak I got for you guys allows you to set a playlist that's called Sayu. Now this allows you to bring up a menu when actually tapping on a certain song. You can either play now, play next, or play last depending on which one you choose. It only appears for a couple seconds for each song that you tap, 
But however, it's a great technique if you want to hear a song next or last or if you just want to play it now. It gives you a little bit more options to actually listening to your music. And as I said, it creates a playlist called Sayu that just organize it in a way that you would want to listen to your music. So if you're interested, check it out. Now this next week I got for you guys is one that's in its beta stages, but for being beta, it's pretty great. It's called Jelly Lock. It's an awesome lock screen replacement. Gives your iPhone an Android Jelly Bean Lock, which unlocking your device, you can drag to the edge of the circle. Now it gives you a total of six application shortcuts. It has badges. You can actually access Siri or Google depending on which one you set. It's a gesture that happens below and just simply swiping up. It's very customizable as you guys saw in the settings and the overall look of it is very nice. It gives you an Android experience on iOS and if you're an iPhone user, it just gives you that extra step on top of Android. Check it out. Now, if you're someone who doesn't like notifications clogging up your lock screen, well, AppsterGo is going to allow you to do this and manage your notifications better than you would think. You can clear all notifications by simply swiping down on your lock screen and you will see a clear all notification. Simply swipe that to the right and voila, all your notifications that popped up are gone. There's a couple more features that are hidden that you guys can check out for yourself. So. Feel free to check it out and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now this next city of tweak I got for you guys is going to allow you to reply and compose a message a little bit more quicker than you thought. Now this tweak costs $3.99 which is pretty high but they do have a 3 day trial that you can try out and see if this tweak is for you. But the whole justice of this tweak I'm not going to bore you to death but if you guys want more feel free to check it out. As I said it's called messages. It allows you to compose and also reply and you can set up your own messages within by activating it through an activator message so it's a very overall great build tweak and as i said you have a three-day trial and you can see if it's a tweak for you anyway guys those were my top 10 city of tweaks for the month of may 2013 hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well as stay tuned for the next top 10 city of tweaks will be coming out the earliest of next month in the beginning so if you guys have any further questions feel free to hit me up on any of my social networks that i will link in the down bar below if you guys can do me a big favor and hit that like button if you haven't already just showing me your appreciation and like always, I guess I'll catch you guys when I upload. See ya.